Hello and welcome to Oxpoon, the technical magazine with Wolfgang Rudolf. Hello and welcome. Today is all about force. Force is something very difficult. It isn't easy to explain. We haven't got the possibility to measure force. We can pull on something, but what is force really? Force acts on something and our scale. With this we have a weight force. Maybe you can remember something like this. Chemists used to use them. Of course, the salespersons of early days had something like this, but bigger. And when I take a weight here, that's got 20 grams, and if I lay this weight onto the one weighing bowl and onto the other side, that's 10, 15, 17, 19, and now I have a very, very small one at the end. That's one gram weight. I'll put it on as well, and as you can see, the scale goes into the balanced position. Well, not exactly, because it is not a precise scale. With this, I can measure force, weight force. The mass of the weight is pulled by the Earth's middle point. And now both sides have the same mass. So, and then I say, okay, that's how much it weighs. One kilo, five kilos, or ten kilos. That was earlier. Today we have different scales that also measure the weight force. When I turn it on, like a kitchen scale, and lay my 50 gram weight onto it, then you can read here 50 gram exactly. Now if I take this scale and stand it vertical, what does the display do? It shows me negative values. Why? Vertical, the force of the weighing platform, doesn't push its force onto the platform. It doesn't show downwards. But if I push with my hand onto it, it shows force, the force with which I am pushing onto it. Of course, I have to subtract the mean as what you see before, but if I pull it, it shows also a force. The pull force with which I am working. So now we are from weight to force. By the way, the weights that we are weighing, they are dependent on the place we are weighing. If I am at the equator, then I am 21 meters further away from the middle of the Earth. And because the, the gravitation with the square of the distance decreases, I measure then less weight force. So something weighs less. The North or South Pole, it is totally different. To this comes the gravitation and lots of other things. But if we want to measure something, like what a towing rope can withstand, what can a hook on a wall withstand, or in a ceiling, and all of these sorts of things, I need a special force measuring instrument. And such a force measuring instrument, which is needed everywhere, because we don't want our belongings to get broken, like a ladder, what we are climbing. We want to know what we can hold and lots of other things. And some of these instruments I've had a look at. I would like to introduce them to you. I have this PC-FG20SD, a force measuring instrument for up to 20 kilos. So now we want to see when we turn it on. You can see a nice backlighted display with a big display. At the moment it is telling me off and it is right. I will show you why. Let's have a look at the accessories. Then firstly we have here a funny looking UFO. And if I take it to bits, there is a memory card in it, which is delivered with the device. And this memory card I have to put into here. And on this the measurements are saved, so I know it should be quiet. And it is starting to save the data. Data recorded, stood there, and when I stop it, then it shows me the data sets and so forth. I will come back to that. It is the main character. I just wanted to show you where the memory card is in. It is not only a holder, but an adapter for USB. 
We can take the memory card out of the device later and attach it to a PC, and the data records transfer onto the PC. Accessories and extension, different force sensors, a flat one in a chisel form, a pointed one, or these hooks, and they are screwed on here at the top. And with these, you can measure lots of different things. That means that when I hold here, it weighs itself. So, 0.61 to 0.62 kilogram. So, about complete with batteries. So, and then you can go into different menus. I can set the time, the time and date setting. That is important when you are doing measuring rows. Then you know to what the data recordings belong to when you read them. And then I have the possibility of the null setting. Device does that automatically when I turn it on. I only have to change it when the position is changed. Peak enter is also something like that. The device remembers the peak low. And I can also do fast or slow measurements. So now we start the device. And now it is measuring. So what we saw before, that can measure its weight. But contrary to a scale, I can show you, I can hold it here and pull on it because it is a force measuring device, and not thought of as a scale. I can also exert pressure. As you can see, it is in the negative area, a device in all areas where you can test the strength of hooks, loops, and other things, what you must measure, determine, to do quality control. The PCE DFG 500. A force measuring instrument which is very solid. What is really noticeable is that it is really solid and has a strong metal casing. It is also a device which you can screw down. The special screws are included, which are screwed here to the back, so you can screw it to a machine or plate somewhere. And you should use these screws which are included. You can always see on the included force sensors here, they're also very solid and thick. Also the pointer, the hook and the extension. And when you have screwed something to the top here, then it starts straight away. There's a battery pack included, which can be loaded using the USB cable and the mains adapter. There's also software included to evaluate the data which has been recorded that can also be transferred to the PC with the USB cable. 1,000 measuring units can be recorded. As you can see, the display is big, good to read, and it's made very good. And I can show you here easily how very quickly it reacts and how fine the display is. 0.95 Newton, and I can measure up to 500 Newtons with it. When I pull on this, you can see it goes in the other direction. I can always do peak measurements. When it is on peak, it remembers the maximal value which has been, or the minimum value. I can always put borders to it, and the peak tower which is needed to measure a force over a period of time. So, this is a total professional device. Which we have here in a measuring area where actually a human comes to his limits to completely use it. Such a fast measuring instrument is important to do, for example, material proofing, ripping proofing, or to do pressure proofing. I've tried something out with a raw egg. Try to destroy it. So then naturally that is not what it is for. But more in professional areas. So the PCE DFG 500, a very stable device, 
with up to a thousand measuring values, can save and also 10 hours of working time with the battery. Two kilo newtons, 2,000 newtons, is so about 200 kilos. That is what this sensor can manage. I can pull and push, but of course I can't manage it. I have a piece here where the pieces I am measuring with pressure or pulling force I can hang on to. And it changes its force into an electrical impulse and sends it over this 3 meter cable to the FB2K of PCE. And that shows me what we have. Now I've played around a bit here I have to set that to null. So I've done that. Now we have a null, Newton on the display, and when I try to push the sensor together, you can see with the one hand I only manage 100 or so, and so Newtons. So a professional measuring instrument for a pretty high measuring area. The usage of the instrument is very universal. When we have a look at the accessories, we have an adapter, a USB, there's a memory card in it, and in this memory card there is a smaller USB memory card in And that comes here into the FB2K, and on this I can save my values. And a power cable for the internal battery and so forth. There's also a serial cable, that means the lots of older measuring PCs have this. But the USB cable, what I have attached here, that goes to my PC and the included software that we can see here gives me all the possibilities that I can save all my data and so. And I can in real time show what I am measuring. When I start now, you can see the curve in the middle, and now it is recording. Now we'll let my strength loose, and as you can see, the curve goes down. When I pull on it, it goes upwards. And at the top in the middle, I get shown what the moment, what force is. So a force measuring instrument for professional use, up to 2,000 Newton, which is really a lot. An instrument which I must really say I've worked with and played with, I've, though because I do not produce anything, or does to hold anything, not the direct usage for. But it is interesting because when I think what you can do today with electronics, data same recordings, and this combination makes it itself. That was a small selection of possible force measuring instruments, which you could possibly use in your works to proof materials or for quality control or whatever. As you can see, from simple instruments over to instruments with external sensors, and of course there are many that can measure higher force. But the, that here is a big piece, which by the way the display turns itself on when any difference is made to the force. Or something like this, when mounting is required, I haven't showed you that, but when you turn it around, the display automatically turns to. As you can see, there are so many features and possibilities with these devices, which we can't show all of. I hope you have become a little overview of what sort of devices and device types there are, and know what you need in your business. Goodbye.